can't tell if it's focused or not. Hey everybody, I'm back with another video today. Uh, I got a request in my last video um, to show all the different animals that I have in my dorm. It was like a little meet your animal tour thing. So I decided to go through with that um, and I'm really excited to do so. So I was going to show you my little setup that I have today. So let's get started with that. This is my lizard enclosure. This is my lizard cage or whatever you want to call it. Um, her name is Lady. Uh, it's a funny story. When I first got her, I adopted her from Petco. Um, she is an adopted um, animal. That's what I always try and strive for, getting all my animals adopted. Um, except for my betta fish, I did buy him. Um, but, I mean, that kind of happens. <laughs> um, but I adopted her from Petco. She is fully grown. I'll get her out for you. I don't know how this is gonna be. She can be hard to handle sometimes. <laughs> Tail kind of freaks me out, I'm not gonna lie. And you're talking to a future veterinarian. I just don't want her to drop it. Oh, I got her. Victory! <laughs> now this is little Lady. <laughs> and the story with Lady, she is actually very sweet. Um, she can be a little difficult. Um, let's see if it'll focus on her. Oh, that was cool. Okay, yeah. This is Lady. Let's see, she's got spots all over her. She's She's a leopard gecko. Um, she's actually super cool and she's very friendly. Um, I got her at, uh, I, she's an adult age, she's fully grown. You usually see these guys um, as little babies in the pet store and they're very tiny and um, they're super cute. But whenever I saw her she gave me like the evilest little look and um, I just had to have her and um, she was only $15 and I was like nobody's gonna want you but I want you you're so cute so I was like I gotta have you I want you so bad and so I got all this stuff I needed for her and um, the whole thing it was $120 total um, so yeah, she was only $15, so if you have everything you need for these guys, they can end up being super cheap if you adopt them, um, if they have them available like that. Um, they're super chill if you get really nice ones like her. I got super lucky. Sometimes they can be a little vicious. Um, if you look up other videos on YouTube of leopard geckos screaming, it is a thing, um, and it's really funny to watch. But yeah, this is Lady. Um, when I first got her, I thought she was a boy, actually, um, before even, like, checking her out. Um, so I named her Lord Voldemort because she is pretty spooky looking. Um, so her original name was Lord Voldemort, and when I figured out that she was female, I was like, well, that's not gonna work. So I renamed her Lady Voldemort, and that's her full name, so I just call her Lady, and yeah, that's the story of her. But see, she's got a big, fat, creepy tail. And that's what I was talking about. I didn't. I don't want that to fall off of her, or for her to get scared and ever drop that. So, I think that's the creepiest thing. But yeah, she eats um, crickets. Actually, that's her favorite thing. That's in this box over here. Um, it's in this box over here. There's like 30 of them over here. Um, and I buy them in these big bags at like my local pet store, and it only costs me like three or four dollars, um, and it lasts me quite a while before they die. Um, and I usually don't finish them all off because I don't want her to get too fat. But um, yeah, I, I'll probably end up doing a leopard gecko care video. Um, but yeah, she's super cool. I love having her in my room. She'll always be like climbing around. Um, I'll show you my tank and stuff like that too later in the video maybe or in a different video. We'll see how this goes. Um, but I have a lot of different things. She has two different... Um, uh, two different caves in here, one for shedding, one for hiding out and stuff like that, um, and then a water bowl, 
and I'll get her out once in a while, but she usually doesn't like getting out that much, surprisingly. She'll just crawl around and watch me, watch my roommate, and kind of mock us, and it's kind of funny. It's a little joke. Um, she thinks she's smarter than us, I think. But yeah, she's super cool. She's always just chilling, looking around, thinking life's pretty cool. But yeah, that's Lady. She's my little, my little gecko. And one thing that you always want to do after handling things like leopard geckos, um, always have your hand sanitizer by your cage um, so you don't forget to use it because you can always catch things like salmonella or salmonella or whatever. Um, you can always catch things like salmonella after handling things, reptiles, um, even hedgehogs. You can catch salmonella uh, after dealing with hedgehogs too uh, because it can be found in their feces. Um, so I always have my hand sanitizer. I even have hand sanitizer attached to my hedgehog's cage because I never want to forget to use that. Alright, my next little guy, um, you can't really see him right here. Um, it's my betta fish. Uh, his name is R2-D2. I got him shortly after I saw the new Star Wars film last year. Um, so I guess that makes him almost a year old actually. Um, I wish I could show you him right now. I don't want to move my camera. I, it'll change the position. Um, <laughs> swimming around, he's so cute. My tank is extremely filthy right now um, because I'm moving out of my dorm tomorrow morning, going back home for winter break. So I decided not to clean it <laughs> because I'm just going to take him out uh, and not fill it back up because I'm moving him into a bigger tank when I get back home. Um, it's not ex it's pretty filthy, yeah, uh, you could see, yeah, that's pretty gross. He's got a pretty filthy tank, um, right now, I think it's a one and a half gallon, which is far too small for a betta fish, I'm not gonna lie, I prefer putting them in, like, ten gallon tanks, because, uh, that is actually the proper size for a betta fish, um, and a ten gallon tank is this size, um, it's the size of Lady's tank. And I would rather have her in a bigger tank than this, but I live in a dorm, <laughs> and I can't do that. Uh, but next year, when I move out and into an apartment and a bigger um, place to live, I plan on getting the much bigger size tanks, and when I get a job, and blah la la, blah la la, blah la la. <laughs> but yeah, I plan on moving him into a 10 gallon tank, and getting him a little, um, buddies for his tank because you can do that with male betta fish um, but you have to be very very cautious about it um, and my betta fish usually live quite a long time about three years um, he's about a year old now um, she I have no idea how old she is because when I adopted her I have no idea <laughs> um, but yeah he's like a royal blue I'd say when I first got him he was blue and he had a white trim around his entire fins and it was super pretty. I have no idea what happened, I guess age just kind of got to him. But yeah, he gets moved into a three gallon tank tomorrow, so that will be fun, he'll enjoy that. And I'm going to move his um, stuff with him too and it will be nice and clean, no green gross stuff. I feel really bad about that, don't criticize me please. I love him and he loves me, I promise. He'll watch me all the time <laughs> and say hi to me. But yeah, that's R2. I know. Chill. You're roughing up your bedding. R2. You're filthy. And I'll also make a video about betta fish and how I make my lift so long because so many people that I meet, they're like, your betta fish is one years old, might only lift to be six months or less, blah blah blah. And I'm like, are you crazy? <laughs> Mine lift like twice that age or three times that age or four times that age. Like, what are you talking about? My longest living betta fish lived three and a half years. <laughs> wow. So I'll give you great betta fish care advice in a different video of mine. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, let's move on to Pippin, <laughs> my hedgehog. <laughs> Pippin is asleep right now. My lights are on. He's nocturnal. He'd be very grumpy if I wake him up. But let's do it anyways. <laughs> now Pippin. His cage isn't as dirty. Um, he went running on his wheel last night, so of course it's going to have some feces on it. Um, I recommend cleaning their wheels once every four to seven days, um, depending on how smelly they get. 
Um, Pippin can get very smelly. Um, I had to clean it once every four days, typically. Now it used to be once a week. I'd say once every four days. It gets pretty smelly. Um, yeah. But this is Pippin's cage. It's pretty nice, pretty big. It's a little rabbit cage, actually. I would recommend for a rabbit to be a little bit bigger of a cage than this. This is pretty perfect for one hedgehog. Um, and I'd never ever recommend putting two male hedgehogs together. Um, two female hedgehogs can be put together, but I'd recommend a bigger cage than this, for sure. Ow! You never get used to this. No matter what I tell other people. Here's Pippi. <laughs> There's Pippin! <laughs> the infamous Pip. Everybody on my floor loves him. <laughs> He's my group me's avatar on my uh, dorm floor. Everybody comes through here and he always saying hi to Pippin. Yes, he's so funny. Now Pippin, he's about a year old. He turned one uh, November 14th. I got him in New Mexico, um, which is not where I'm from <laughs> uh, at all. Nowhere near. <laughs> and because uh, they're actually very hard to come by where I'm from, but in New Mexico they're very, very popular. You can find them in the pet store which is very uncommon here. I actually not at all ever have seen a hedgehog in a... Oh my god, Pip. I've never seen a hedgehog in a pet store here. Um, oh. Oh. But yeah. Um, I got him at five weeks old. He fit my little palm. I got cute pictures of him on my on his Instagram, actually. And I made Pip an Instagram. Um, I'll leave the link in the description below if you actually want to go follow him. Um, I keep it fairly updated actually, it's pretty cute. Um, but he is a little angel, he lets me pet him, oh, sometimes. Um, and he lets other people pet him too. My last hedgehog did not let me pet her like this, at all. And I think the only reason why he lets me do this is because I raised him as a little baby, even when he was still on wet food, um, cause he was still being weaned from his mother, like he just got weaned, so he was still eating wet food. Um, and I was putting a little bit of dry food pieces in his, uh, little bowl, and, um, yeah. He's got a cute little face. And cute little ears. But yeah, this is Pippin. Um, I got his name from the Lord of the Rings, uh, movie and book series, if you haven't heard of it. Go look it up. Um, but I named him after the Hobbit, Pippin. Um, I thought it was the cutest little name for Hedgehog. Uh, so I, yeah, I kind of named all my animals after the nerdiest things, one from the Lord of the Rings, one from Star Wars, and one from Harry Potter, if you kind of catch my drift here. But yeah, these are my three animals in my dorm, I'm kind of the animal lady on my floor, I'm the only one with animals too. Um, I have a sticker outside my door that says animal on premise, premises, because I have to, and it's kind of funny. Um, so yeah. These are my animals, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you could uh, like, subscribe, and leave any comments in the description box, uh, what you thought, any um, recommendations on videos, if you want to see any. Um, I kind of have some in mind, but this was a recommendation um, in the comments from my last video, so I am very open to ideas. Pip, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so yeah, I hope you liked the video, and um, I'll see you next week. <laughs>